Alright everybody, so I'm going to be teaching you three different ways to make cupcake bases and two of the methods will require some mold putty and in this case, since I don't have amazing mold putty, I will be using Sculpey Mold Maker and the other one is just regular clay. So you're going to start off with a toothpaste cap any of any size and for the opening on one end, just fill it in with some polymer clay and you're going to take your mold maker like I said, I didn't have amazing mold putty, but I'm using Sculpey Mold Maker, and Sculpey Mold Maker is awesome, so <laughs> it has multiple uses. So you're going to go ahead and open up the package and take out a chunk of the mold maker. So you're just going to go ahead and cut a little piece of that, and you don't really need too much, and you're going to need that. Next, you're gonna take some Johnson's baby powder or just any kind of baby powder or cornstarch and roll that ball of mold maker in your hand. So coat that with baby powder and then you're gonna coat the toothpaste cap as well. And make sure that you pat down the polymer clay side as well. Next, you're gonna go ahead and form the mold maker around the toothpaste cap and you just go ahead and pull it out and there's one way to make your cupcake base. The second way is to use the back of a makeup brush or a marker of your choice, anything that's thick in size and just wrap some of your mold maker around it. And it's up to you how high you want the mold to be. Make sure that you flatten the bottom and then you go ahead and pull it off. So once that's done, you're gonna take your needle tool and create some indentations within that hole that you just created. And after you've created the indentations, it should look something like this. Now the last way is to use some uh, polymer clay and you're going to roll it into a cone shape and make sure that you flatten one side, um, the thicker end. So you flatten that down and create a cone shape. Once you like the size of that, then you're going to go ahead and take your blade and cut down on it at an angle. And there's your little cupcake slash tart base. Then take your needle tool and again create some indentations along the sides like so. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys and thank you all so 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 much for watching. Bye!